We are now entering the final days of No Shave November. The concept is dedicated to growing and embracing hair, which many cancer patients lose as they fight their battle against the disease. Dozens of local police officers put down their razors for the month to grow out their beards and raise money to help a Dennis Township boy as he finishes up his treatment. Our Nina Barati introduces you to the boy who has inspired his heroes to be Joey Strong. Christmas came early for a South Jersey seven year old with retinoblastoma, a rare childhood cancer of the eye. Some of his local police officers from all across Cape May County came together to donate their funds that they raised from No Shave November over to his family to help them out as the boy continues to fight. We put a challenge out to all the other agencies. Everybody got on board, started raising money and growing beards and you know, it turned out to be a great day and we raised almost just shy of $18,500. Those thousands of dollars raised will be benefiting Joey Povio, the grandson of Avalon's police chief, as he begins the last stages of treatment. In July, we went to the eye doctor routinely and he complained of having some floaters in his eye. Long story short, it turned out that it was a tumor pressing on his optical nerve and causing his retina to detach. Joey needed six rounds of full body chemo, which he finished the day before Thanksgiving, according to his mom. He still has to get less intense injections of chemo directly into his eye to help with the loose particles of the tumor. Now the bills are rolling in. Some of it's covered by insurance, some of it isn't. The money is there for what we need it for, and that's just so, so amazing. One of the police officers, he's my best friend, Dad, and He's my really best friend. I really like him. And although Joey and his family were happy to see their heroes with beards of all shapes and sizes, the officers were just as excited to see their little hero. The best part is just seeing that Joey's doing well, that the family is happy, the family is, you know, sees our support and that they know we're behind them. According to the American Cancer Society, about 200 to 300 children are diagnosed with retinoblastoma in the United States each year. But now that Povio is moving into his last phases of treatment, he's proving to everyone just how Joey Strong he is. You know, when you think you want to give up, look at him, everything he's been through, and if he could do that, we can get through this. I'm Nina Barati for SNJ Today.